Hi there. I know that there's a lot of people that don't want to spend 60 bucks or euros on a game that they're not sure that they're gonna like. So trying out a free-to-play game sounds like a good solution. Though most of the times, free-to-play MMO games tend to be pay to win or sometimes be more expensive than a subscription MMO if you want to be competitive. But there's still a lot of players that manage to pull it off without paying a dime. So I sat down, did my research and checked out this site that saves the populations for the MMOs. So I thought to myself, I had like three years to do this top 10 list. Let's try it again. So let's do this countdown. At number 10, we have Fantasy Star Online. It's the other well-known MMO from Japan besides Final Fantasy XIV. It was released in the West at May 27, 2020, under the umbrella of Microsoft. Its launch was good in the beginning, but the player numbers have dwindled since then. It's more of a hub-based MMO that utilizes an action target system which does its job. The game has loads of content that you can sink your teeth into, which translates to many hours of gameplay. Next we have Albion Online. It was released in 2017 and can be played on PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. This is a sandbox MMO that plays from the top down and it's centered around PvP. And it supports full loot, but don't worry about that. Gear is very easy to get in this game. So, you can buy your gear back again and start your adventures. Of course, it has a cash shop, but you can use your gold to buy currency for the cash shop. The game has a classless system, which the gear you wear defines the abilities you have, making the gameplay something more versatile. Star Trek Online is on number 8, and has been here since 2010 and can be played on PC, PlayStation 4, and on Xbox One. The game was developed by Cryptic Studios, the company behind Neverwinter. Players can go on space missions with their starship, or they can beam down and go on ground missions on planets with their crew. There is loads of content you can go through, but the major plus to this game is its friendly community I found while trying it out. Tower of Fantasy was released in 2021 and can be played on PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Android, and of course on iOS. Though it's not your typical MMO, I added to my list due to its many MMO features that it has. A lot of people will call this game a waifu or a gacha game, but it has dungeons, world bosses, PvP, and loads of minigames you can do with other people. At number 6 we have EVE Online which is available on PC and Mac and can be played with an optional sub which will unlock some spaceships and quality of life items. This is a spaceship simulator where you never see your character and the game offers vast galaxies for you to explore. Our next game is MapleStory, a 2D side-scrolling MMO developed by Wizard and published by Nexon, and you can play it on PC. It's been around for 20 years, and it's one of the most unique MMOs out there. It has loads of classes to play, but also an in-game shop that has everything you want to avoid. Next on our list, we have Guild Wars 2, which was released in 2012 and was developed by ArenaNet. You can play the base game completely free and reach max level which translates to hundreds of hours of gameplay. Its cash shop doesn't have any pay to win items, just cosmetics. Plus, they have a great mount system which WoW copycatted the last expansion. Though, if you want to play the rest of the expansions, you're gonna have to open your wallet, but it doesn't have an optional sub. At number 3, we have a game I play on and off. It's Black Desert Online which has numerous of classes for you to play. The one thing that stands out with this game is its action combat system, which is very fluid and fun, where grinding most of the times doesn't feel a chore. The life skills have great depth to them, and you will spend hundreds of hours just leveling those. The downside to this game is, if you want to be competitive, 
it becomes pay to win. Don't get me wrong, you can get at the top, but it will need a lot more time. Our first runner up is another game I have played a lot. It's Lost Ark. It was released in 2022. This game was developed by Smilegate and published by Amazon Studios for the West. This game plays with a top down aspect like Diablo. It's loaded with dungeons and raids and multiple difficulties, but it doesn't support the Holy Trinity, though some classes fill in those gaps. The cash shop here is full pay to win, but you can play it completely free if you have the time to grind. At the number one spot, we have Old School RuneScape, which was originally launched in 2001, and you can play it completely free on PC, Mac, and mobile, with an optional sub of $11 per month. You can also pay your sub by grinding and paying with the in-game currency. The game has loads of content for you to sink your teeth into. It doesn't support the classic Holy Trinity system, but it has a rock paper scissors approach. Old school RuneScape doesn't have any microtransactions, which is not the norm for most MMOs today. I know the data from this website is not 100% bulletproof, but it's practically the closest we can get due to companies not officially releasing the numbers of their player base anymore. I hope you found in this list a game that will fill in your MMO hunger till the next MMO releases. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to do a comment, use the comment section below. Thank you and have a good one.